Good morning, everyone. This is Marshall Gittler bringing you the morning comment for July 23rd. Well, talk is cheap. The price of action is colossal. That pretty much sums up the European position on Russia. Government officials here have been talking about the need to penalize Russia for its alleged involvement in the downing of the Malaysia airplane over Ukraine. But when push came to shove, nobody shoved. The EU said they'd consider tougher measures only if Russia doesn't cooperate in the investigation of the plane. Now, the fact that tensions were lowered switched sentiment in the market from risk off to risk on. Stocks in Europe recovered smartly and the rally carried over into U.S. and Asian equities too, while well, gold and bond prices fell. The risk sensitive commodity currencies were the best performing G10 currencies, while the safe haven Swiss franc was the worst. Against what should have been a favorable background for European assets and hence the euro, it's particularly notable that euro dollar opened in Europe this morning below 135, the figure, for the first time since February 3rd. The weakness seems to be caused by the view that European growth has stalled and with the ECB on hold, the only thing that can rescue Europe is a weaker euro. We'll know more tomorrow about the European economic background when the preliminary PMIs for July are released. Uh, they're forecast to be only a touch weaker, so there seems to me to be plenty of room for disappointment. Meanwhile, the technical picture for euro dollar is also negative, as you can see from the technical comment on our website. This could be the break we euro bears have been waiting for for so long. On the other hand, emerging market currencies continue to gain. The ruble was the best performing EM currencies of the ones we track, followed closely by the high yielders. EM currencies may be benefiting from the capital flight from Russia as investors and locals pull out of that market and put their money elsewhere. Carry trades look set to perform well even if risk off returns because of the lack of contagion to other EM countries. As for today, not much in the way of data coming out from either the US, Eurozone or the US. The big event will be the release of the minutes of the latest Bank of England policy meeting. Now, recent comments and speeches by MPC members plus the minutes of recent meetings, indicate that at least some members have moved closer to a dissent, dissenting vote, but I doubt that it'll come this month. With no outright dissent, the focus will be on the range of views of spare capacity among the MPC members and the debate about when to start raising rates. Separately, Bank of England Governor Carney will speak to a business conference. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironethics.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Marshall Giller, head of Global FX Strategy at IronFX Global, wishing you solid trading.